Hello, hello, hello. So um, I'm pretty animated when I come on to do live uh, Facebooks. I know I talk a lot with my hands and it's the way that I am, but I didn't realize how animated I am until um, I was reflecting on the way I was spending uh, an hour yesterday with my grandson. So um, I had, it's been a very uh, trying time just for childcare in general. Uh, we're looking at in Ontario reopening. Uh, what does that look like? We're in stage two here in Chatham Kent. And so just a lot of behind the scenes work. And then at the same time, um, I've been saying this, I'm also transitioning out of the organization after 30 years. So doing training of the new executive director, um, you know, supporting her and the team to reopen um, during still a pandemic. So just a really trying, trying uh, time. And, and yesterday particularly, it just seemed like a really full day. So uh, my daughter, let me know that my grandson had just had a tough day. He just hadn't slept and so I said, you know what, I'll come over more to think about helping her. Um, and I can't help it, when I walk in the door and I see his face and then it lights up, it, it brings out my silly. Like I'm doing Zerberts and we're Zerbiting at each other and he's doing grumpy growls and I'm doing dinosaurs and all of a sudden I'm singing silly songs that are made up. Um, and I'm whistling with a bumblebee and it's just like I don't I realized yesterday this energy just bubbles up and sillies just ensue and it's just I just realized how um, I wasn't stressed anymore at all um, being silly with him and for him just completely took away anything that had been a priority during the day that I thought was a priority and that had just caused me this mental stress. So my title was Silly Is It Savvy? And I would say that be silly because it will increase your abundance. And um, what I mean by that is like um, it just made me prioritize and stop and pause by the reaction I was getting from my grandson about what matters in life and uh, what I'm what I'm doing what my purpose is and uh, and again all that mattered was just this present moment with he and I and our eyes locking and just reacting to each other and uh, just the best gift so yes do I love being a grandma absolutely um, and he brings out my um, silliness and my best and what I realize is why am I not always this exuberant and there must be things that are inhibiting me in terms of vulnerability, about showing up, um, social norms and all of that. But I love that grandma me and, and the silly me because um, the response I get from him is just pure, like, make me laugh some more, grandma. And it's just love and it's un I just feel uninhibited. And when I feel uninhibited, I feel unstoppable and I feel unleashed. And so, yeah, that attracts abundance. So I would, um, you know, we talk about self-care, but I would say get on your silly. And uh, what can you do that will attract all of that to you and that um, you can show up in that way? So um, I've been talking about, and I've been quoting Ann Voskamp, and she said this morning in my devotional was spending yourself, so spending yourself, which is what I did with with Judah yesterday is how you multiply joy and I would agree with that a hundred percent so I wanted to share that with you today um, as we're going through some very difficult times uh, as I said in my workplace um, and just as we start to navigate this new norm that um, you multiply your joy by uh, spending yourself and I would suggest that you spend yourself in a way that is silly and fun and uh, gives um, joy to yourself and to others. So um, I wanted to also invite you to a couple of things that are coming up. So tomorrow I have a free workshop. It's, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm gonna be at the Light Up Studio. Uh, I haven't been there in quite a while. And if you don't know, the namesake of the Light Up Studio actually came from Toni Morrison. She was on, she's just passed away I think last year, but she was on the Oprah uh, book club and they had like a circle with all the ladies there and what she shared with Oprah was uh, the question she provoked the question does your face light up particularly when a child walks in the room so that really spoke to my ECE heart but early child education heart but 
Um, more than that, I thought every person deserves that. Every person deserves to have someone's face light up when they walk into a room. And so I've experienced that when people come into my light up studio, they're really pleasantly surprised by the environment. And then when they finish up their vision board and have declared their dreams, they leave with the light shining out of their face, which is such a beautiful thing and experience. So I invite you virtually to come into my light up studio tomorrow with me as I uh, will showcase a new workshop. I actually took it from the framework of a speech that I gave. I was privileged to be part of a um, conference last fall and uh, so I took this and I created a, a, a hour workshop around it calling What's Your Vision? So if you are curious about vision boards, if you've done vision boards before, if you're just looking at, you know, getting some inspiration, motivation, please join me. It's free. It's at one o'clock tomorrow. So uh, it's very simple. All you have to do is go to my webpage, uh, dare2declare.com. Go to the bottom of the homepage and it's right there. What's your vision? Register, just pop in the number of uh, links that you want. And, uh, and then what I'll do is we will take um, we'll ask for your email address and then tomorrow morning, sometime tomorrow, we will be sending out an email with a Zoom link for you and then you can join live, virtual, and I will join you and my uh, beautiful friend Darlene is going to support me in videotaping it and getting the slides up in the studio. So that's happening tomorrow and then um, I'm going to talk about this tomorrow at the workshop but then I've got another series if you want to pop on to this business page here there's um, a vision board series it's gonna be over three weeks I'm going to do it in the evenings because a lot of people have returned back to work and I think it's at seven o'clock every night for one hour and it's only $99 and it's for the three weeks and um, we're going to do that virtually so that you can create a vision board so if you've always wanted to create a vision board or if you've done it a year ago and it's time to relook at it we did it i did it with a group um in april into may we had 12 people from all over the world it was fabulous and uh, they all gave me really great uh, reviews and feedback on that experience so i would invite you to think about if you want to do that so you can go it's also on my uh, website you can sign up for that 99 dollars and then the last thing I wanted to just let you know is we are a third full. So Darlene um, is supporting me with this. We are putting together a woman's retreat. Oh, doesn't that sound lovely? After all of this isolation, it will be so lovely to get together. So there's only 15 spots. We cut it in half because we want everyone to have a VIP experience. It's going to be at the Ben Miller Inn in Grand Bend, November 13th to 14th. It's called the Lean In, Lean On. So you can, again, check out my website, dare2declare.com. There's a drop down, Lean In Retreat. Uh, the accommodations, food, full workshop, full vision board, master class is all going to be included. Door prizes and everything. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Tomorrow, um, I'm going to also have a special prize. So it's um, it's going to be worth your while. So please come and register for tomorrow, and uh, check out the other um, opportunities as well on my website. So stay silly, <laughs> stay savvy, and um, and you'll attract abundance. So uh, cheers.